Resistance to the Russian invasion of Ukraine takes many forms. For some people in the Donetsk region, it means flooding their local volunteer center in order to create supplies for Ukrainian soldiers fighting the Russians. Uh, Yaroslav Movchan has the story narrated by Anna Rice. Volunteers in the city of Kramatorsk in the Donetsk region have been working round the clock to assist the Ukrainian army battling Russian invaders. Their main focus is on handmade camouflage nets, sleeping bags and other hand-sewn items. A factory-made camouflage net can be easily detected by a drone, but the ones we make here, they are sewn in a non-systematic fashion. They are a lot harder to detect. Local residents of Kramatorsk have been weaving camouflage nets for Ukraine's armed forces since 2014. Many of the workers here arrived from Donetsk. Eight years ago, they were forced to leave when pro-Russian separatists took control of the region. Since the Russian invasion, the spacious Together for Victory Volunteer Center has become cramped. Volunteers say that until recently, there was little need for mass-produced camouflage nets, but everything changed on February 24th. Uh -huh. A net can last for a month, two, three, but it can also last for a year on the front line. But you will need to replace some segments, and that's the work for volunteers. Every day about three dozen people come to the Army Aid Center. The work is clearly divided. Some weave strips of fabric, others prepare the mesh base for camouflage. Finished products are immediately sent off to defenders. Until February 24th, sewing was taught at this co-working center where future seamstresses worked on fashionable clothes. Now they also sew sleeping bags here for territorial defense soldiers and border guards. They are made from special capron fabrics, so they're ready to be slept in comfortably. We're making balaclava, sleeping bags and special backpacks, basically carry-alls. Fabrics and materials are provided by Kramatorsk residents. In addition, donors have sent money to make sure volunteers have the resources to continue their work.